Well, we are getting ready to get 120 up onto the frack tank. We've got to get the duals back on it because uh, a single tire the, the frack tank is too heavy for it. With the uh, coronavirus being in full swing now, uh, all the kids are out of school. Let's just say we're kind of homeschooling them now. So Junior, he's been getting uh, getting a little bit of shop work going into things, haven't you, Ben? So we're going to clean up these rims. I don't know if you remember when it comes to taking these duels off. We had a heck of a time getting this right wheel off. So I've ended up wire wheel on the inside of the rim. I've got the dual um, spacer done as well. I was going to replace the spacer, and then I kind of forgot to order one, so we're going to be having the same problem. We're going to end up having the same problem when it comes time to taking these off next winter. But the reason why we have to take them off is the dual sets out about here, and it's wider than the blade. And it's a pain in the ass to plow snow in. So, we're also cleaning up some weights here. Wire wheeling them up. We've got a tractor to put them on. Uh, that's actually next door here. We'll show that to you when we're ready. But they're just getting that waxed here now. And uh, we're going to be getting after it. we got the boys outside washing the 7730. And we've got the 7200 ready to be pulled in. They're going to wax that here in a little while too. So this was cleaned up uh, the other day and then they're uh, washing the 7730 now. So. Look at that. It looks like it was made to go on there. Alright, now. It is right near a hook, so we got to turn the rim. 
So I got seven of the eight on here, but I ended up breaking this one here. I broke the actual hook on it, so I've got to pull this hook out and grab a new one. That's the beauty with these damn snap-on duels, but this wheel here we're going to have to keep an eye on because I don't feel it's on there all the way. I had to loosen these buckles off a couple of turns, and it feels tight around there, but it, uh, unless these hooks were on the other rim. But we've got to get this hook out of here and uh, either bend up a new piece or uh, find a new one. I might be able to just bend a, a loop in there and uh, continue to use this one. I think that's all I'm going to do. I got enough thread here, so we'll just heat this up, put a little hoop in it, a little hook. Well, we've got to take a break from putting duels on that 8120. Travis blew a tire on the front of uh, truck 12. So, we've got a steer tire loaded up, jacks, and t tire tools and all that crap. So, we're going to run over there now and get him going. Um, got the boys washing equipment here. 7730 came off of the uh, mixer wagon the other day. We're going to put duels on that in a while, and they've got the backhoe wash, but the pressure washer ended up running out of gas here so he's got to get that filled up with gas and get going meanwhile we're gonna run over and get Travis going again I just bought four of these tires the other day I really only needed one and Kerr ended up having a tire that was bad on his truck so that gobbled up the second one now we're into the third one and I've only got one left so we're gonna run over to where Travis is he's about six miles from here and uh, get him fixed up so he can get back hauling manure. So we'll be there in a little while. We'll join in with you then. All right, we're just getting turned around here. We're gonna work off the front of the truck with the army truck here and I kind of wish it wasn't a front left tire but he doesn't think it did any damage to the hood or the inner fender or anything like that so we'll just have to uh, work safely right on roadside here okay all right see what we got going on here. Actually, I'll leave this running because I have my flashes on. I don't want to run the risk of this damn thing not starting. Damn, Trav, you ain't got much tire left. I got her one this morning. I looked them over. I was going to tell you tonight that that side... Okay, well, we're going to have to get her jacked up. Probably got to go underneath the boot
gonna try to change this tire without taking it off the truck, but the drop and this rim is on the inside, so that wouldn't have come off with leaving the rim on the truck. So I had to take it off. Now we're just airing it up. We'll get her bolted back on here in a minute. But um, we're gonna have to change the other tire in the morning. That one's to the point where it needs replaced, so we might as well do it now, and then we'll have a, a brand new pair on the front here. So we'll air this up, get it bolted on, and get back to the shop. This casing's no good anymore. Oh well. Could have been worse though. So. Well, we're gonna head back to the shop. All right, so we uh, got Travis all fixed up. We got a tire on him, and we ended up putting this last duel on, or the second duel. So this is all ready to go. We're just gonna take it down and hook it up to the frack tank. Well, they put oil in it. They didn't get the oil cap back on there. So we're gonna run down, hook on to the frack tank, and then what we have to do is we have to bring that up to the shop. There's a wire that we've gotta switch on it. What you have is a hydraulic that plugs into the back of the tractor that runs constant flow to a valve on the frack tank itself so that you can run the, the valve to load the spreader. And that is run, um, it's electric over hydraulic, and uh, you have to have the lights on on the tractor. So we're gonna switch the wire around so that it hits the hot side of the implement plug and my phone's ringing. So we're gonna get this hooked on and we'll rejoin you after we get it hooked up.
this hooked up, we're going to take uh, the tractor up. we got to put fuel in it. And then I'm going to switch the electric around on it. Maybe they've already got this one set that way, but the remotes will not work unless you have the lights on on the tractor because you have to have power for the uh, receiver on here so that the remote can run the hydraulic to open the valve to let the manure go from the tank to the spreader. So we'll get it full of fuel and check out the hydraulics on it, run a grease gun around the power shaft, check a few things over on it, and then we're going to take the thing to uh, the field here. We're probably not going to be able to have time tonight. I had enough delays today that um, probably going to have to wait till tomorrow. So let's get this buttoned up, set up, ready to go, and then we'll take it to the field tomorrow. You ain't getting no flat tomorrow, are you, Travis? No, 78. Well, we are fresh out of freaking tires now. Yeah, it was getting Oh, look at you. I think it needs an alignment because yeah. the inside of it was what was warm. Well, we're going to leave you guys off here. Um, it's actually the following day, and this video's getting a little too long. We did get this frack tank all completely set up and ready to go. We've got the wiring switched around so that the power for the hydraulic valve um, is going to be coming from the hot side of the seven-way plug that's on the back of the tractor, the implement plug. And that way, uh, we won't have to have the lights on on the tractor. They're just the key power will end up powering the hydraulic valve so that the um, remote controls can work. So. That's going to do it for this video. I've got to actually run into uh, Syracuse and get some tires. We're going to put new tires on, uh, recap tires on the, the Red Diller trailer. I've got six here. I lack two, and I'm going to end up picking up some more uh, steer tires for these uh, the 425 uh, steer tires. So I want to thank you for watching, folks. Leave me a thumbs up if you would, please. Drop me a comment down below in the next video. Should be this unit here set up in the field and um, being used. So we're going to um, get that to the field today uh, while it's raining.